Boom Boom. So I was born in East LA at White Memorial Hospital, and my dad's name is Juan Cortez Sancion. My mom's name is Valdelia Zavala Sancion. And I have four siblings. I'm the middle kid. I have an older brother named Johnny, an older sister named Lacelda, we call her Seldy. And then I have a younger sister named Monica, but we call her Moni, I call her Mona. And then I have my little sister Blanca, so. Um, when I started my sheet moonsters in 2020, you know, I, I was drawing one moonster a day for a whole year, and I ended up doing 400 consecutive days of these moonsters. And as I was doing them, I was wondering of, about where they came from. And the idea of a monster being beautiful triggered something in my head. It's interesting that this sort of theme of the monsters has been in my life all these years. and. Um, I feel lucky that I get to bring these sheep monsters to life and the reason they're called moonsters and not monsters is because I've always had a, an affinity to the moon. I've always felt a special connection for as long as I can remember. So that's why I call them moonsters. Hey, it's me, Jessica, and I'm doing a review of Colin Upton's Buddha on the Road. Uh, it's going to be uh, republished by It's Alive. This is the original 1996 issue from Aeon. The new one will actually have a, a different cover. He has a bunch of misadventures. His name is Norman, and he is hired to kill God. Norman is ambushed by homeless people and angels. He travels to hell to party with demons. The mood quickly turns serious when the legions of hell mount a battle against heaven with Norman on the front lines. It doesn't take long for Norman to realize that war is the actual hell. Keep watching this video as Colin's about to give us another one of his tea reviews. He does like a good tea. Oh, uh, hello, this is Colin, and um, today's tea, which I really don't have time for, I've just brewed up a pot and I'm going to see how much of it I can actually drink right now but you can't drink tea particularly hot tea really quickly it's not something you can chug it's not something I like to drink quickly I mean when I drink tea I usually make a nice pot and I sip it and drink tea and, and work while I'm working oh I should mention the tea one of my favorites uh, salon black tea jasmine which is always good uh, a mystery green tea they don't actually tell you but they say they're fresh so I don't know, it could be anything uh, with a touch of lemon so it's very civilized very nice cup of tea and it's just a pity that I, I have to drink it I have to drink it quickly quickly I have no time no time I really shouldn't even be talking to you cheers Please consider supporting our channel by joining us at Patreon.